to me, Filipino flavor is balance. I find acidity, I find brightness, I find richness, I find the savory. It's everything that I appreciate about food. To me, there's, there's some beauty and some tragedy. The beauty is that I perceive Filipino culture to be all-encompassing and all-embracing. Every friend I've ever had um, that goes into a little point-point joint or comes, like, you know, comes over to a family party, they're overwhelmed by the hospitality. We don't shun anything at anybody. The tragic part to me is that I don't think that we've ever made like a really, really strong stand about what might be Filipino tradition to each of us. You know? It's like when you go to a Chinatown or a Korea town, right? you know. You know. You walk into a restaurant and you know. You look at a menu and you know. For uh, the Ulam uh, Film and Feast, I'll be making two different cocktails. Um, each one is uh, just inspired by uh, memories of my mother. My mom used to make avocado shakes. So what we did was we took a bunch of lemongrass, left it over the fire until it charred a little bit. Uh, once we charred that lemongrass, uh, we put it in coconut milk and we brought it to a boil. Uh, let that flavor infuse before mixing it with sugar and avocado and then blending all of it up. All of those things are made better with some really good tandoi roll. Uh, the next one, a little maja blanca. This is something that my, uh, my grandpa loved to eat. Uh, my mom would make for him and I would always be there hovering over the pot. A little bit of like a coconut pudding with, uh, with corn in it. We shake it up real quick, put it on some crushed ice so it's fun and it's cold and you have something tart and refreshing but exotic and you know satisfying at the same time.